being a creative, you have to survive in a very turbulent industry. And that's exactly what a lot of artists are doing, surviving, while actually, you know, they are ready and they really want to thrive. But because of all the disappointments, the rejections, the going from one job to another, from one city to another, from one paycheck to another, never having that inner security about what's coming next, that just can really make them very insecure. And because being high sensitive, we have a deeper way of processing information and that can really make us overthink things and create low self-esteem because we keep overthinking and worrying about the situations and that can really create um, a belief where you are pulling yourself down and not feeling great in your own skin. And that's probably why I want to talk to you about that today because let's be honest, you know, resilience is an amazing superpower. And that's why this Thriving Tuesday will talk about just that. Because when you are living in turbulent times and in a turbulent industry as well, especially post-COVID or even in COVID in some places, we just, we really have to adapt and we have to make sure that our resilience is so strong that we can really get higher and higher and higher instead of staying stuck in a place that isn't working for us. So what I want to tell you today is some few tips that you can use to get really resilient and in your own power, find your own strength. Because, because of the deeper processing in our brain and the overthinking, that's costing us a lot of energy. And the worrying is pulling our energy down. So we just have to be very alert that we make sure that we use those little moments in between to really step into inner peace, inner calm, so that we can find our own power again and, you know, shine and really be happy with what we're doing. Because otherwise we can stay stuck in this little vicious negative spiral and that's just not where we want to be, right? So, like I said, use those little moments in between. Make sure that you take some time to breathe through your nose, in and out, deep into your stomach. And when you take the stairs, take them mindfully, you know, just connect with your feet on the ground. When you go to the bathroom for a toilet break, be conscious. Just take that moment to breathe and relax and come to yourself. Connect with your body instead of being in your head. And by doing that, you are giving your brain a little bit of peace, a little moment to recharge again. And that's exactly what we, being highly sensitive, need for our brain to recover on those little moments in between so that we can stay on our top game. Because otherwise there are so many stimuli that we get overwhelmed. And that's why it's very interesting to use little moments during your day, we all have them. You know, instead of worrying, breathe. Instead of taking the stairs, thinking about all the things you have to do, be mindful on your feet touching the ground. When you go to the toilet, take that moment to really get into your own skin again. You know, those little moments, use them and you will keep building on your inner strength and you will get more resilient than when you stay in your head, keep worrying and you know, you just, lose yourself in that process. So have fun doing that. It's just little things that you can do, but that's according to me what works. You know, it's not about meditating for an hour every day. You can, if, if you like to, that's amazing. Go ahead, it works, it's proven. 
But, you know, I'm not that kind of person who can sit for an hour and you wouldn't really make me happy if I have to do that. So I'm the kind of person who loves short and very powerful exercises that have great impact on my day and on my life and on my well-being and the way I feel about myself and my energetic level. So if that's you too, then I suggest that you really get to work with this and that you integrate small mindful moments to really come back, center in your body, breathe, ground and do the inner work. And you'll see that even by those little moments, you will find new strength and you will be able to conquer the world. <laughs> Have fun and let me know if I can do anything to help you with that. Shine on!